Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another beginner's guide tutorial. So this vlog is dedicated to all beginners out there who wish to know anything and everything about computers. So if you have something in mind, please feel free to comment it down below and we are going to create a beginner's guide tutorial for you. We are going to make this tutorial quick and easy to learn. Okay, so let's go. Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Another Java tutorial. This time we are going to create a basic salary system or a basic payroll system with user input in Java. So again, this is for beginners. First, I'm going to visit jdoodle.com. So it's like an, a free online compiler and editor. So I'm going to use Java Advanced here then we have a couple of examples here so if you want to test it it's okay if not then you can remove all of it always remember that we are going to use this one the my class that java so that we will not be having any problems with file names anymore okay so for now we are going to use that one i'm just going to remove whatever is in here then make sure that you are going to turn on interactive mode otherwise you will not be able to use the user input feature on this website turn it on then i'm going to import the utility named java util dot scanner i think this one is capital yeah there you go so it's like you are trying to input the feature from which the user will be able to use the keyboard inputs in java programming okay so next is class my class so i'm going to use my class since this is the name of the class of jdoodle web website but if you are using a different compiler of course you're going to change that one public static void main string args so it's like we are going to use the main class and this is like the doorway again before we are going to start our java program now since we already have the java.util.scanner this is the time that you need to use that object or you are going to create a scanner object so i'm going to name this scanner object as salary input so i named that one salary input it's because uh, this program is going to ask the user on how much their salary is okay so something like that so i'm going to name this one as new scanner there then of course i'm going to assign this one to system.in which means it's like you are trying to assign or you are trying to activate the keyboard feature uh, with this object right here so close it then system.out.print ln or line okay then type how much is your basic salary okay something like that just a simple statement then close it so what's going to happen next is we are going to create a new variable named basic salary okay so double basic salary there equals salary input okay so what i'm using right now it's like um whatever value is on the basic salary it will be placed under salary input okay or whatever you are going to place on your salary input that is going to be stored on your basic salary okay so salary input is like the keyboard entry that you are going to use next double so i'm going to use that next double for this one because i'm dealing with a double data type open close parenthesis close there so system dot out dot print line so this is the part where you are going to display whatever you are going to input okay or whatever you're going to enter in your keyboard so your basic salary is um, of course, we are going to use concatenation method in here. It's like joining two different variables. Um, basic salary. There. That's it. As simple as that. So, 
basic salary is from here and of course salary input that next double it's like whatever you are going to input on your keyboard will be placed under the basic salary variable okay and we are trying to display it through here so let's try to run this one if it works if there's an error it's okay it might take a while now it's okay there so how much is your basic salary so how uh whatever i'm going to type here let's say thirty-five thousand. okay by the time i'm going to press enter just wait for a couple of seconds java is going to provide you with an output your basic salary is thirty-five thousand. now that is the basic okay this time we are going to transform this one okay we are going to transform this one in a sense that we are going to add deductions of course if you are an employee there are deductions so let's say for example if you are going to add taxes okay or tax because in every country there's always a standard tax okay a standard tax or deduction for every employee so we're going to add that one so how are we going to do that um let's say again i'm doing this one in a free form or impromptu manner so if there are errors that's good if none it's also good because if there are errors and it's not working definitely we can have some sort of debugging so i'm going to create spaces here and on this area it's like this is the part that you are trying to assign uh, salary input that next double or salary input to your basic salary value okay so it's like whatever you are going to type on your keyboard it will be placed under basic salary variable so this time we are going to add new variables here that will serve as deductions etc etc so i'm just going to provide comment here so that that will serve as your guide so declare new variables values and maybe formulas yeah it's like that simple as that next is i'm going to declare a new data type here or same data type double again there are different ways on how you're going to do this but what i am trying to do right now is the basic or the simplest way okay so tax equals to let's say how much is the tax in your country so uh let's say 30% well that's a lot of corruption right there and no, I'm just kidding 0.32 okay so I'm trying to convert percentage to decimal so it's like for 32% you're going to move two places to the left it's 32 or 0 0.32 then close the statement then double deductions equals to this is the part where you are going to declare the variable and at the same time you are going to create a formula for that variable so how much is the value of the deductions now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the basic salary which is this one right here whatever you're going to input in here will be this one basic salary multiplied by the value of the tax so it's like that so deductions is like how much is your basic salary you're going to multiply it by 32 percent okay so that will be your new deductions so up next is we are going to display or declare our new salary or net salary we are going to name this one as net salary there so it's like equals basic salary this time i'm going to minus or deduct deductions I don't think it's the right grammar there okay so it's like how much uh, whatever is the value of your deductions okay will be placed here and whatever is the standard salary that you have will be deducted by a new deduction okay now this time what we are going to display now is not the basic salary but instead uh, net salary okay so since this is your new salary after it is being deducted by tax okay so let's try to run this one i don't know if this one will work if there's an error it's okay 
so how much is your basic salary let's say my basic salary is um 100 000. wow that's a lot one two three there so your basic salary now no that's that should not be basic salary i'm just going to change this one your net salary there so i'm going to execute it again so sometimes statement matters okay so how much is your basic salary that's a hundred thousand okay press enter okay so your net salary is sixty eight thousand so why is it sixty eight thousand it's because we have a tax of 32 percent which means 32 percent is around thirty two thousand okay so it's like you have a deductions worth how much that's basic salary times tax so how are we going to know it we can just provide a system that out that print line here that out that print line so let's say your deductions or your total deductions uh, is Let's say I'm going to concatenate it with deductions there. Close it and another one, maybe system that out that print line so that you have an idea. Oops, this one. On how much is the tax, how much is the deductions, and so on and so forth. Your tax payable, tax payable. I don't know, tax payable. Yeah is then concatenate it with tax that's it so make sure of or try to be sure with your spellings if it's correct or the capitalization because if there's problem with capitalization definitely there will be an error execute there you go let's try to run it how much is your basic salary? It's 100,000. Enter. So it will be displayed in here. It's like your tax payable is 0.32. Your total deductions is 32,000. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Then your net salary is 68,000. Okay. So as you can see, we were able to create a basic payroll system with deductions in Java.